Hello. Wait a minute. We are we finna get on the Algiers ferry to take us to New Orleans. Uh, just for you guys, I'm actually gonna go down the steps in the ferry and get on the nose of it and I'm gonna show you the ferry ride. So stay tuned. Now it is a pedestrian only ferry, so I'm going to turn you guys around and I'm going to show you the ferry ride. So we walked, we were at the front over here and we walked off at the bottom. Over this, this used to be for cars. That's the aquarium of the America's tropical area. And then the World Trade Center and the ferry trans uh, walkway. So next, lunch. This used to be the Rivergate, a large for its time conference center. Now it's Harris Casino. That's the Red Line streetcar. It goes up and down the river. Bicycles, and these have uh, motors in them. That is neat. All right, we're on Decatur. 
and down this way is where House of Blues is, and then where we're going to eat is going to be this way indicator. We're going to a place called Masparos. This building here used to be Dixie Beer, Dixie Beer Brewing Company, and now it's a mall. Uh, they have some interesting ways to get up, like to the restroom and all that. It's a ramp you walk up where the beers they used to be able to, to pull the beers down through. So. Let's go find food. That's more of the old brewery. It's also where, uh, Hard Rock Cafe used to be, I don't think it's there anymore. And then there was, uh, oh, what was his name that owned the bar? Anyway, oh, Schwarzenegger used to own one. Uh, the former coach of the New Orleans State, that war, or what was his name? Anyway, but I don't know what's left in there. So, onward. All right, guys, we are at one of my favorite places to eat has been for about 30 years now. Um, it's called Mesparo's. Um, it's in a historical building. Most of New Orleans is a historical buildings. So I'll, I'll give you a look. We're just passing by. We're at an open window, open doorway. And then, because we have Sam with us, even though he's a working dog, they asked for us to sit by a window, which is not a problem, or a door, which is not a problem. Um, but there's the bar, and then it has these beautiful arch details. I don't know what this building was before, um, but I do know that it's, you know, a pretty old building. Oh, and only in New Orleans do you have all the doors open and an air conditioning running. Jackson Square, you'll see where they put them, but we don't use actual horses, we use mules. And the reason is because the horses will drop dead in the heat, whereas the donkeys and the mules will not. Again, this building used to be one of the breweries that was Dixie Beer Brewing. And I remember that beer cans were made of tin. Well, were made of tin when I was a kid. That's T-I-N, not T-E-N. Jackson Square, one of the quote unquote alleys. Anything to make a buck around here. That's Jackson Square, we'll go in it in a minute. It's the weekday. That's why I want to come during the week. Too many people on a weekend. Yeah. Oh. Okay, when I was a kid, this was closed because it was in such disrepair. This is the park at Jackson Square. And then that is the spires of St. Louis Cathedral, which is in back of the park, which is just a small park, which is just a small park. But uh, here's the big, big statue. Let's check out the tree. I said, check out the tree. I don't, uh, it's a poem. Chris, no. 
He's a service animal. Thank you. No, but the birds can shit him. We don't know that can go upstairs. Um, it's not safe anymore. And uh, I apologize if I'm whispering, but that is the Catholics telling me. So, but we'll go further up in the front. Um, but like I said, the room we was just in usually isn't open. So, uh, it must be a holy day, holy day of obligation.
Marseille, and that says in France, uh, Louis the Ninth, Order of the Seven. And all the windows in the church show scenes from the life of Saint from the beginning all the way to the end. So, all in purple, you know, all archbishops, except for one. He was promoted from here to Chicago and was made a cardinal. So he wears red. It's Cardinal Cody. Cody, oh, yeah. yeah, we remember him. I remember him too. Yeah. We're glad when he got you from. Yeah, and Sorry. you sent him to us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but he was not a. No, I know. I know his history. Yeah, he was part of the Bourbon. The and your Bourbon Street, not named after the booze, it's named after the House of Bourbon. So he was one of the House of Bourbon. At that time, the King of Spain was a cousin. He was a Bourbon. So you have Louis the Ninth, and he's the one, this ninth, who adopted the Fleur de Lis as a sign of France and the Bourbons. Of course, the French don't use it much now, it's a royal emblem, but it was uh, called Flower of the Lily, and it stood for the Blessed Trinity, because you had three things in one. So, uh, he was Louis the Ninth, there was a Louis the Tenth, Eleventh, Twelfth, Fourteenth was the Sun King, the Great King, the one we named Louisiana after, and the Eleventh. And then, uh, I mean, the 15th and the 16th is the one who lost his head. So that was it for the Bourbons. And then it became a republic. Um, now, census, do you know what a cathedral means? Most people don't. Uh, the old Greek word for chair or seat or throne is cathedral. So the cathedral is a church where the Archbishop has his seat. That's his seat of authority. Sort of like the president has the Oval Office. That's his throne, if you want to call it. Oh, wow. And um, the reason that cross has two horns, this is an archdiocese. The archdiocese has other dioceses under it. Right. The diocese is a bishop. Now, he doesn't get involved in day-to-day -day operation, for it, but if he did the hierarchy, you would see that. So, the flag you see here is the Portrait of Vatican, America. That is the flag of the Archdiocese of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And it has the pelican, which I will continue later, three fleur de lis, and three southern magnolias. The other five or the other five dioceses in Louisiana that are part of our family. And there's symbols, herald, heralded symbols which connect them. For example, the second to last one, you see the wavy lines? It's Lake Charles. Oh, wow. Uh, you see the one, uh, the fourth from the end has that blue border. With the great, the great things are bells. One this way and one invented the other, inverted. And I, I did a lot of research there, and that's the Diocese of Lafayette. And uh, so when they needed a coat of arms, they took that from the coat of arms of the Marquis. I look at it. These are all the flags of the countries that had a presence here, and ruled here over the years. Um, come over this way, see. The first one? The first one. That's the flag of Ferdinand and Isabel. But the reason we have it in here is that's the one that was carried by Hernando de Soto. Uh, Believe me, everything else was pure swamp. Mm. It was nothing. Rampart Street was the rampart. I mean, that was the city. But the beautiful thing is, Katrina, 80% of the city was underwater. A lot of it was underwater for two or three weeks. I don't mean underwater, I mean... Underwater. <laughs> one place in the French Quarter Flood. Wow. 
So this little Frenchman, no, yeah, 300 years ago, using common sense, no, did better than all these yeah, engineers because if this French Quarter would have been underwater like that, I think it would have just dissolved. Right. Yeah. Old bricks and old things like that. But luckily, not, not the only damage we had in this church was we lost some shingles and uh, our organ got soaked. But the uh, organ company was kind enough to take it apart and oh, read it and put it back. Oh, but that's the only reason we have the French Quarter because it's uh, this guy had a pretty good idea. Wow. So before I go, can you introduce yourself? My name is Philip Martin. I'm retired and a volunteer. And I'll tell you a little funny story about myself. Fifty years ago, when I was in high school, I was a guide here in the summer and in the, on Saturdays. They paid me. <laughs> and after being a banker for 37 years, furniture for 15 years, what am I going to do when I retire? I'm coming home. So I love church history, so I'll, I'm a guide here and at the old Ursuline Convent. Okay, thank you, sir. Recommend. Thank you. You didn't mm -hmm. ask all that. No, but if you ask me a question, you're not going to get the answer. <laughs> no, he's I from think you'll learn that already. Right. right. <laughs> I'm from here. I understand. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate this. I learned things that I didn't know, and I'm from hey, you here. You know our lady of Prom Sucker over here. No. I went to our lady of Prom Sucker in West Wigo. Everybody, yeah, everybody, every church has a statue of Mary. Mm -hmm. A lady of Fatima, a lady of Lourdes. We have our own Mary here. Notre Dame de Prom Sucour over here. This is a copy of the original statue. And France, in 1810, Napoleon closed all the convents. Right. And one of the, some of the nuns and one of the, some of the nuns wanted to come here, but their bishop would not let them go because he had to do underground. But uh, anybody who's got nuns? I know a few times they used to find homeless people sleeping in the confessional. <laughs> so after the gentleman gave his little spiel, this is the outside. And then, these are now museums. Let's see. Oh, I can go in. Okay. Hello. And the other day we saw a replica cannon. These are real Civil War cannons. But have also, obviously they've been, you know, uh, sealed. Historical marker for the Cabildo. Bell. I mentioned earlier it had uh, burned several years ago. Um, I'm not going to do stills because it's really hard to see the writing. Uh, my dad and I used to love coming here as when I was little. Um, I'm a child of divorce, and my dad always wanted to do something child of divorce, and my dad always wanted to do something educational for me, and so we did things like this. 
There used to be the original pharmacy, but I'm not exactly sure where it is, but it was here in the square. These are Pirate's Alley. And this is where they used to duel at. And I don't know if it got recorded, but he said Hurricane Katrina uh, did no serious damage to St. Louis Cathedral and the surrounding buildings uh, because of the way that it was built. And then this is the back side of the church, and we can actually go into the garden. But this used to be where they dueled at with pistols. So legend says that late, late at night, you can hear the pirates arguing and you can hear the, sh the gunshots from their uh, muskets. You can go around the back of the church. And you can't go back here anymore. So let me see if I can get between it. At night, there's a, a light that shines. I'm trying to get the statue. Right in front of me. Just get my finger. Yeah. Oh, there he is. See, and I've been in here as a child. This is the back of St. Louis Cathedral. And this is, like I said, where they used to have uh, duels, pistol fights. And like I said, legend has it that in rarely late at night you can actually hear them scuffling. And sometimes you can hear the. Uh, gunfire some of our famous blue dog pictures and I will put a link in the sink telling you the history of the blue dogs and how they came about all right guys this is the end of part one if I would not have broken it into two parts it would have been over an hour long. So, stay tuned.